I made some honey butter chicken biscuits, and I had to let y'all know that making biscuits is super easy. These biscuits are tender, light, flaky, and buttery. Even if you can't bake, there's three ingredient recipes for you. As you can see, I'm eating mine with chicken, so let's go through that process real quick. I'm seasoning up some chicken thighs. I'm covering them in buttermilk, and I'm going to go ahead and use some hot sauce too. I'm going to let these marinate while I work on the biscuits. I'm using white lily unbleached self-rising flour to bake these biscuits. I chose self-rising flour because it already contains baking powder and salt. So you're using less ingredients and that saves you time. Even though the flour already comes pre-sifted, I'm going to sift it again and I'm going to go ahead and get this into the freezer to keep it cold. In the meantime, while we're chilling that flour out, I grab a stick of butter from the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and grate that butter. It's very important that I keep my flour and my butter ice cold because once this bakes, that cold butter is going to release steam, creating pockets of air throughout your biscuits, resulting in those flaky layers. I like to use a fork to cut my butter into the flour because using my hands could potentially start to warm it up. And here you can see the pea-sized bits of butter throughout the flour. Now I'm using buttermilk, of course. Usually I don't measure the buttermilk. I add it little by little until my dough comes together like this. And then I clean my surface and I lightly dust it with flour. I use this motion to spread the flour evenly so it's not a lot of clumps on the counter. You gotta make sure to dust those hands too to keep them from getting so sticky. Now this next part is all about carefully bringing your dough together without overworking it and being too rough. Once you get it together, you want to keep folding it over on itself a bunch of times, at least six to ten times, and that's going to create those flaky layers as well. I should have flattened out my dough a little more, but I'm going to add some flour to my cutter, and I'm going to push down and come straight back up. You do not want to twist this cutter. The biscuits won't rise if you do. And you should always keep a bench scraper on hand. That makes for an easy cleanup, at least for me. I used my largest biscuit cutter, so I was only able to make four biscuits, so that's why I redid it the next day, and I cut them smaller. I do like that golden crust at the bottom from using that cast iron, though. It's like crunchy on the outside and soft and flaky in the middle. I did a quick taste test, and I already knew this would be everything that you would want in a biscuit, but I wanted a slightly bit smaller biscuit, so the next day came, and I repeated all of the steps, y'all. But when I'm recipe testing, this is something that I do often. I will remake the product over and over until I get the product that I'm looking for. So this time around, I used my two and three fourth inch cutter and I got the desired size biscuits that I was looking for. I popped them biscuits in that cast iron skillet at 425 for about 20 minutes and this came out just like I wanted them. Some people would top them with egg wash before they bake them, but I got that golden brown on top without it. And then fresh out of the oven, I like to brush some honey butter on top. Now I did not forget about the chicken. I'm gonna put together some flour and some cornstarch. I'm gonna season it up and this chicken actually marinated overnight. I think it's best you have your wet hand and your dry hand when it's time to coat this chicken. This method makes things cleaner and you won't have a lot of buildup on your hands. I always like to use a thermometer and I'm going to heat this oil up to at least 350 degrees. Depending on the size of the chicken thighs, you want to let these fry for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it reaches an internal temp of 165 degrees. That's how you know your chicken is done and juicy. If you need this recipe, please visit my website, uniqueeats.net. Click on ebook and recipes and it's listed as honey butter chicken biscuit. You know I had to cook it up.